Hello and welcome to this video about setting up Godot 3.3 for Android development. You're going to want to open up Godot's documentation. They have exporting for Android. Uh, we also have one click deploy and multi resolutions. I have all these open. So, to use Godot's tools for developing on Android, you're going to want to enable developer mode. So, go to system, about phone, and then you're going to go down to the build number and just tap it like five times. You're going to want to go to advanced settings. You're going to want to go to developer options and you want to scroll down until you find USB debugging. You're going to want to enable USB debugging like that. Now we need to install Android Development Studio. So we just go to their website and we click download Android Studio. Uh, scroll through, you can just click, yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to extract it. So I'm just going to click here and click Extract, and then I'm going to put it in my code folder, just like so. Bum, 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 we'll see. Now we're going to want to CD into that folder. So in my case, that's in the code Android Studio. Cat the install. We're going to cat this. We're just going to read what it says. And in this case, it's telling us that we need to unpack it, which we already did. And then we need to start the application with the uh, studio.sh. Uh, we don't see studio.sh in here. That's because it's in the bin. So if we also the bin, it's in, in there. So the start sh is in there. I might be able to run. Uh, maybe I'll run that. Looks like I can. You might need to do dot slash bin studio sh instead. Um, depending on what your RC file is configured to. Android SDK, that works. Next, and so you basically just click through all these menus. Looks like it's finished. Um, SDK manager. Um, my phone is currently running Android Pi, so we're going to install this one and the latest version 11. So. Click apply, up, up, okay, okay, uh, uh, accept, next. Looks like it's done, so we can hit finish. And now I believe we have our SDKs, so we can close this now. Android, let's try that. SDK, all right, so we have the SDK folder. So now we wanna to go to our editor settings and we want to open our Android SDK path right here, and we want to click that. Uh, SDK, voila, select current folder. You also want to install OpenJDK 8. In my case, I can just run sudo apt install OpenJDK 8 JDK. In my case, it's already installed because I did this earlier and it just wasn't recording. <laughs> So now we need to create a debug key. Um, we can do this with this key tool here, command here. So all we do is copy that and we pop over to our terminal and we can run it. Um, things you're gonna wanna pay attention to, you're gonna wanna pay attention to the alias tag here. So this alias tag it has Android debug key and this key pass tag has Android right there. So we're gonna run this. And that should create a key store, a debug key store. If you do this in a project directory, and it's on GitHub, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your uh, key store is ignored. I get ignore file, you can see that I'm ignoring all key store files. So this won't be saved to GitHub if I do a git push. So now that you've created your key store, you're going to want to uh, open your debug key store. So we're gonna open the debug key store, bam. And then we're going to find the user. So in that case, it was the um, Android debug key. We're going to paste that, and then we're going to copy the key pass, which is Android. Copy, and paste that in there. Voila. And now our debug key is configured. So now we're going to want to configure our exports. So we're going to go to Editor, um, or sorry, we're going to Project Exports. Click Exports. We're going to add an Android export. And it's complaining about our uh, export templates. We don't have any export templates. We're going to click on our manage export templates. You can also use to manage export templates by going to editor, manage export templates. We're just going to download the latest one. Okay. Now that we have downloaded the correct 
uh, export templates, we're going to go back to our project export, and we're gonna go back over here to our Android. Make sure that runnable is on. Um, this will allow you to run it with one click deploy. And then in here, we don't need to do anything just yet. Eventually, we will want to, I like to, I like to customize the unique name here just so that we have a unique name. So um, we actually export your game. You're going to want to uh, edit this with something more specific, but for now it can be anything. Um, I like to use a lot of JSON files in my projects, so we're just going to go star or dot JSON. So now any JSON files on our project will be exported with the project rather than being excluded from our project. Now we're going to export project. I like to create a folder called build. So we're going to create a build folder and click save. That's going to export. We're going to want to add that to our git ignore file and then we're going to add our build uh, star. Now that we have that we should be able to one click deploy now. So now if we click the little Android icon button we should be able to test it on our phone. And here's the app on our phone as you can see um, on my phone. So now if you don't see this little Android icon button, uh, the first thing you want to check is that you have a USB connected from your computer to your phone. <laughs> Sometimes my phone will refuse to connect to my computer, how I touch my USB connection to see if I can transfer files or not. If I can, then I know that it's not the USB connection, it's something else. The other thing you want to check is in your exports, you want to check to make sure that your Android export is runnable, so make sure that's runnable. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is that USB debugging is enabled. If it's not enabled, then it won't allow you to export to your phone. And if it's still not working after that, you want to double check your export settings and all that. Before you get too far, you're going to want to make sure your project settings are suitable to your needs. Um, in my case, I like to set the stretch mode to viewport and the stretch aspect to expand. Goda has some good documentation on what those mean exactly, so this is explaining what each of those settings actually does. I have the stretch mode set to viewport and the at stretch aspect set to expand. This is what I need for my projects most of the time. I also have the orientation set to sense, which allows it to be either landscape or portrait mode. Depending on your game, you might want landscape only or portrait mode only. So if you design your UI around a square, then when you're expanding horizontally or vertically, then it will have no problems adjusting to the size of your screen. When you get to the point where you want to make an icon for your game, you can find in the export settings, you'll have your launcher icons, you'll have your main, your adaptive foreground, and your adaptive background. On their exporting for Android, they have a little bit about uh, providing launcher icons. Google also has an article about designing adaptive icons for Android. It's quite interesting. You have a foreground and a background and then the and then your phone environment provides the mask at which it goes around and that allows them to do fancy animations and stuff. GD Quest has a video about setting up Android for Go Dot version 3.1. Number of stuff has changed since then and so I thought I would do an updated tutorial. They also missed one detail which was enabling USB debugging on your phone. There's also another series, uh, Exporting for Godot. This is quite good, it's by Ozdar, Oz Ozdar, I guess. <laughs> APIs for things like their leaderboards and stuff. He's not done with it either, so there'll be more videos in this series coming. Highly recommended, totally follow him. When I finally get around to putting a game on the Google Play Store, I'll be sure to I'll be sure to create another video informing you of the information that I gather at that time. Wonderful. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're done. We're done now, right? We're done now. We can, we can call it a day. We can hit pause. Okay. 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 Okay.